We're making everything that we do the best that we can to fit the players that we have. That was Luke Getsy talking about the offence and making it fit towards the players that we have. Here we see an example of that and by uh, alignment we're actually going to see him dictate what the coverage is. You see one tight end there, you see one tight end there. We have Cole Komet by alignment is being picked up by a defensive back and obviously here we're seeing two linebackers and to get into the play we're just going to roll into it. This is the first touchdown to Ryan Griffin. So as we see it roll off the snap, um, the routes that we're going to get here, as you see Cole Komet is essentially just running like an under. Uh, a route over here we're getting off the line Ryan Griffin basically run off here and obviously to take the attention of this defender and this defender we have an underneath route as well which you see is out here to this flat area interesting that linebacker here with this so here we have him passing off this to the, this under defender he's going to then take uh, he's then going to take Cole Komet as Cole Komet comes under that leaves Griffin to go around the back. Montgomery comes out of the backfield and sort of sits over there with like almost like a mesh here. Just really nicely designed. So there's that sort of mesh look that we see coming across the field here. And that means that, you know, with one high coverage, it's a relatively easy task for Justin. And it's literally right in the bread basket. It's very easy to catch. I want to see him catch his hands a little bit really, but the defender isn't able to sort of squat on the route because he has something to watch underneath. And that's an easy touchdown so here we see it from the other side here's griffin we're just going to circle him on the screen there's montgomery we're going to get commit coming over here montgomery's going to come across here ryan griffin to come out here one high safety you see where justin is kind of looking off to this way you see his head's actually looking this way still and then he comes over now he's turning to the left as he sees it clear here he's got montgomery coming across and by the time that it's, it's there, there's no time for this safety to react. There goes the ball. Lovely pass. Easy touchdown against one high. So Getsy showed in that first clip um, that we can show the alignment. <clears throat> the type of defense that we've got without a motion. You can also do it with a motion. Here we see Cole Komet's already motioned across. I, I absolutely love this. I think this is the second TD. Again, what we're interested in actually is Pettis here. Again, we kind of see a one high look, debatable as to whether it's, you know, potentially two here, as whether it's two high look. But we see one high look initially with one high safety, potentially cover two. We need to identify that the zone, come, this motion comes across, doesn't really tell us anything pre-snap. Here's Equinemia St. Brown sort of running and under. As you can see, Cole Komet is here blocking in the backfield with a nice chip on the edge. He's basically chip release here chip release here into the flat taking that interest you see Dante Dante Pett is actually is pushing towards the inside hip of this defender who's trying to come over the top really is a lovely route by Dante Pettis and you see that move there that sort of cut in so watching up here this is where the focus is watching that cut in back out and then Justin's already got the ball on the way the defender has no time at all lovely arc on the ball no time at all to react literally catches it one foot toe drag and that's the touchdown we're going to see it from the other angle as well rightly, rightly celebrating there so here's the ball coming from the other angle just to see that sort of catch and the toe drag swag it's a nice rotation on the ball there a little bit wobbly but you know we're going to we're going to settle for that again against either one or two high that route really where he stuck the defender to the inside ran to the outside and got the touchdown great grab by Dante Pettis even better route and recognition by Justin good touchdown the third touchdown to Cole Komet possibly my favorite of uh, all of the touchdown passes just going to circle up Cole we see him here in the backfield already and what we're going to see is the route combinations that kind of get him free which we'll roll it back so there comes the motion there comes the motion here sits down and as you see it looks like a wheel to a sort of a, a a drag here but you're getting two so what we're getting is like a, this is what you call an east west flood to a, to a zone so whether you've got this zone defender you've got one under one there it's difficult for him to match up you see the linebacker is clearly bailing this guy is clearly bailing um we're getting this lovely runner i think it's coulter yeah i think it's isaiah coulter so there's that play action i mean obviously the linebackers have to sort of play on it because we're zoning left and it's a nice job up front by all of the boys up front 
By the time linebacker reacts, the second, which is blazing game, the fullback, has already cleared that linebacker. So it would be an option. Don't forget, he can also turn and then turn into a blocker for Justin if he wants to run. What we see here, and I love this, you sort of highlight, you see him pump that towards the, the flat. So now he's pumping towards a short defender. Then he points back towards the middle of the field, towards the one high safety, to hold him where he is. And then literally, there it goes, lovely flighted ball into Colcomet, who's literally all alone. We, we, when was the last time we saw someone schemed against zone this far open? At least eight yards of separation. Well, sort of six yards of separation by the cornerback, maybe seven or eight to the safety. When was the last time we saw that? And we're going to see the angle here now that the reader does tell you why. So there's that sort of zone play action look. That's actually a wheel route by Cole Komet. So he's running um, effectively. If, if this was the backfield, he runs a wheel down the sideline like that. And we get Ryan Griffin, <clears throat> who plays an important part in the design of this. So when we look at this sort of east-west flood, east-west flood one, east-west flood two, and then levels concept on this flood here by Ryan Griffin. So it looks like a levels on both Cole Komet and the second part, Blazing Game, of this east-west flood concept that we talked about here. Love this design by Getsy. Really works a treat against a one high. Play action works a treat. You know, Justin can actually run with the ball. Here's Ryan Griffin. So linebacker's got one under, one here. So that's that. And don't forget we've got Cole Komet who's off to this side. He's already disappeared from frame and is now on sort of the up part of his route. And there we see Justin, you see him pump the flat. He's trying to make it look like it's blazing game. Now he points over to Cole, you know, flat and go wider. Lovely rotation on that ball. That's a really nice throw. And then just the easiest catch Cole Komet's ever going to have for a touchdown. Fantastic design and brilliant execution. Well done, Bears. Let's get it against the 49ers.